The FBI said today it has identified a suspect in the mailbox bombings throughout the Midwest. He is a 21-year-old Wisconsin college student named Luke John Helder. Mr. Helder is suspected of having something to do with the 18 bombs which have been found in five states, including one which was found today in Amarillo, Texas. The authorities are not able to find him. ABC's Pierre Thomas is at the FBI building in Washington with the latest on the search. Pierre? Peter, tonight all law enforcement agencies in the Midwest have been told, be on alert for Luke Helder. The FBI is asking Helder, an industrial arts student at the University of Wisconsin Stout, to turn himself in. We encourage, as a public safety message here, Luke Helder to make contact with us. We do not want to see him harmed or any public harmed. Sources tell ABC News that one of Helder's roommates told investigators there was evidence of black powder residue and pieces of pipe in their off-campus apartment. And investigators were told that Helder had not been seen on campus for a week. We were contacted by the FBI early this morning and told that the student was under investigation. Investigators have recovered fingerprints from the evidence left behind at the crime scenes. They want to compare those to Helder's fingerprints. According to sources, FBI and Postal Service investigators also contacted Helder's father, who said his son had made anti-government statements in the past. I really want you to know that Luke is not a dangerous person. I think he's just trying to make a statement about the way our government is run. Law enforcement officials say that while the leads are promising, there's not yet enough evidence to charge him with any crime. Helder played in a local rock band called Apathy. Those who know him say he wasn't the type who would try to kill. I was very shocked and surprised. Uh, he, was, he was a great uh, friend. Law enforcement believes whoever is planning the pipe bombs may be having a change of heart. The pipe bomb recovered today in Texas did not have the 9-volt battery needed to detonate it. And the bomber left a note which said he did not want to kill. The fear tonight that all the attention might cause the bomber to panic and do something rash. Peter. Thank you, Pierre. Pierre Thomas in Washington.